Hello, and welcome to this quick screencast demo of Farina Reports. My name is David Metzler, and I'm the module author. I'm going to be guiding you through um, creating reports using Farina. Farina was built off the idea that if you know the SQL to get data out of a relational database, there should be very little work required to get that out on the web. At its core, Farina uses SQL files so saved queries as data sources for reports. In this example, we're showing a simple select statement uh, that shows you all of the roles in your Drupal uh, database that are custom defined. And the top access equal comment that you see there is going to determine who has access to the data that's, that is provided by this SQL statement. In this case, anybody with the right access administration pages will get access to the data. So having just created the, that SQL file with a saved query in it, we're going to go make a report based on that. Start with create report. Give it a, a URL friendly name. In this case, I'll call it uh, demo roles. Give it a user-friendly title and hit create. Now at this point we need to add data and in this case I'm going to reference the SQL file that contains the SQL statement that will be used to populate the data in this report. I'll hit preview. You'll notice it gives me a table of the, of the roles along with their role IDs. I'll add that to the report. Let's go ahead and view. It's just that quick. If I don't want all of the columns, I can, with a WYSIWYG editor, very quickly customize and save this report. And that's how fast it is to create uh, standard, you know, HTML reports with Farina. <coughs> Farina also can be used to report on external databases besides Drupal. Um, it comes delivered with a SQL Lite uh, database that contains a simple uh, uh, mocked up table of uh, users, number of users in different cities in a state. And this can be used to kind of demonstrate the capabilities of Farina. So let me show you some of those sample reports. Simple table of states is very similar to the report that we just uh, created. It's just a simple select statement behind it that selects all of the states in the validation table. You'll notice that there's this link to CSV. For, Farina has the ability to export data into CSV and Excel file formats, Word documents, and uh, others. So you'll see that with just clicking on that link, it'll take the table that's in, the data that's in that HTML table and export it into a CSV file, which we can open with numbers or some other, or Excel or some other um, uh, tool. A slightly more complicated report. Farina supports the concepts of parameters, so users can enter data for which they are trying to select that, select out of the report. So in this case, we're using a drop down to generate a list of uh, states that you can. Uh, report on and the user can select the state that they're interested in and view the data for that particular state. You'll notice that the state comes on the, the state is referenced on the URL so this is just a quick way for people to um, uh, navigate uh, through parameterized reports. More complicated example, master summary with drill down, shows that Farina can uh, generate graphs uh, it does so using a uh, PHP SVG graph library that you install in your Sites All Libraries folder, and then you'll be able to create graphs like this. Um, here's another example of a SQL query. This one was generated using a group by expression and showing the total in all this, all of the cities in the state. So, and it sort of shows you that we often use uh, Farina to uh, interlink web reports. So we'll create two reports. We saw this one earlier, the report that filters based on state lookup, and we've facilitated navigation to the, uh, the second report uh, using links in the first one. 
And in this way, you can it's easy to put together systems of web reports for enterprise reporting. Farina also has the ability to do master detail reporting. Here's a quick example that shows for each state, it outputs a separate table uh, indicating the users in each city within each state. It's important to understand that although we provide WYSIWYG capability via the WYSIWYG module, Farina is designed as an XHTML templating language. And so what that means is that the reports themselves are saved on the file system and are really just um, XHTML files with um, some extra, ta extra tags and attributes. So here's an example of an FRX block tag which references the SQL that's going to be used for this section of the report. Um, this is, other, other than these custom FRX tags, um, you'll see that this is standard XHTML, so you can leverage your existing knowledge of SQL, HTML, and CSS to produce virtually any layout in a Farina report. Well, that's pretty much it for the summary. I'll say very quickly that uh, I've produced a much longer version of this demo that walks you through in more detail how to get, start, get started using Farina from scratch. Thanks for your time.